Hoodie fam, what is going on? I'm having so much fun playing this mode, even though we've lost six games and only won four. I don't care. The Eras mode in 2K is the best mode in a sports game, bro. From playing back in the day to modern times, I wish other games had this. This is the best mode ever. I love this mode, bro. I love that you can put a creative player in here. You cannot make them overpowered. You can make them overpowered. It's so much fun. In the last episode, as you guys saw, we beat the Mavericks. We actually almost lost towards the end because they started to make this amazing comeback. But we did get the win. All right. Now we play the Spurs. I hope we can beat the Spurs. We did look at their team, so we're not going to go through that already. I also noticed there's a daily view. So you can see all of the games going on. So you got the Lakers playing, the Celtics are playing, the Knicks are playing, we're playing, uh, the Bulls are playing, the Mavs are playing, the Rockets are playing. So you can see all the games. And it's kind of crazy how like much thought they put into this because they have like point like the points, the rebounds. So like Kareem leads in rebounds for the Lakers in points, Magic Johnson in assists, but then for the uh Blazers, I believe it's the Blazers still. You got Paxton leading in points, Carr leading in rebounds, and Valentine leading in assists, but it breaks it down for every single person. Yo, Larry Bird scores almost 30 points a game. That's a problem. Isaiah Thomas scores 23. I scored 25. I averaged two assists per game. Uh, that's not that good. That's because the pick and roll doesn't really work. But it's really amazing how much thought they put into this game. So it's kind of crazy. We are going to be away. Ooh, this is going to be a tough game away. So, Gervin is their best player. And, of course, uh, Gilmore is their best. I'm on Johnny Moore, who's one overall better than me. Interesting. We match up fine against the rest besides Gervin. So, let's see if we can get the win here on the road in San Antonio. This is going to be tough. Saturday night. We'll see the San Antonio Spurs as they play against the New Jersey Nets. Here with Clark Kellogg and Mike Vertello. I'm Kevin Harlan. And getting the inside reporting from the sideline, it's David Aldridge. Pretty balanced matchup we've got here, Mike, tonight. One team. Offensively minded, the other focuses on defense. Well, Iron So we get the ball first. Also, their center looks like Kareem Abdul Jabbar Jr. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We're gonna pass it to William. I'm gonna let him work in the post. Oh okay. I was thinking about this last game, but I just didn't say it. I might have to just start passing to them in the post and letting them work. I think maybe me running the pick and roll. It's part of the problem. I think if I just let them work in the post, like Cartwright in them, I think they might actually do something, like actually score more points. So I might have to start trying to do that. No way he makes that. Get the rebound. All right, the San Antonio Spurs arena looks interesting. So like, right, let's run the pick and roll. And then he's gonna pop down. Right. I, I tried to pass, but I yeah, I tried to pass, but I got stuck in that animation, and then I gathered the ball, so that's tough. Now here's Prez. Boy, was he something else against Dallas. Here's Cartwright. Off to a good Do you see that? You see how Cartwright? I called the pick, but then I got him down low, and then he did that little pump fake. I got to start doing that. Because I don't think we've ever scored six points without me scoring to help out. We're going to figure this out, Hoodie Fam. Oh, shit. Yo, he just popped out hella fast. It would be amazing if we could beat the Spurs. If we could go on a, a little run here, dude, it would be amazing. Just don't foul play. Hands up. Hands up. Oh, he made it over him? Okay. That's got to be Gerben, right? Actually, don't know who that was. Let's see if Cartwright can do this again, because that kind of worked out. Let's make sure we have the icons up. Cartwright, hold on to the ball. Cartwright, what the hell was that? Get back, get back, get back. I got the middle, I got the middle. Nice defense. All right, we out. We out. Oh, oh they're calling an alley-oop? I didn't even call for that. I just called for the ball back. 
to the middle. Here's more. He nails it. Uh, I didn't think I don't know why they called the alley oop. I didn't call for that. That's the first time I've seen them do that. All right, tie game. We've only taken one shot so far. Well, now we've taken one. That's going to be a three. Bang! If we can start working in the post, we're going to be... We're just going to be great, man. We're just going to be great. They're going to call a timeout. Oda with the screen. He's going to make that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can answer back. Williams to come set the screen. He's going to pop out. Interesting, interesting. He's going to get the rebound. I actually didn't mean to take a three. I was trying to take a midi there. Buck Williams with the rebound, though. Very nice rebound and put back. I was trying to take a midi, but I think my guy stepped back. That's why I held it down a little bit. They're going to call a timeout. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are. Looking at the Eastern Conference, the Celtics are 12 and 1, bro. The Bulls are 5 and 4. They've fallen off. The 76ers are right behind them. We're trading basket for basket here. Haven't really been able to gain any momentum to take a lead. But we're hanging with them. I'm hoping maybe here we can try to do something. We're going to give it to Williams. In the post, he's gonna get fouled, and I thought he was gonna put that in, but he didn't. Let's see if he can make his three throws to give us the lead. Come on, Williams. That's off. That's tough. Come on, baby. Make it. Make it. Put it in. Oh, Williams, what the hell was that? All right, play good defense. Actually, he's wide open over there. That's my guy. I get back to him, and it doesn't matter. He puts it in. Basket for basket in the second quarter. A little over two minutes to go. We need to get some momentum here. We're going to call for the pick with Williams. I'm going to be wide open, and I'm going to knock down this midi, baby. I got 12 points and two assists. That's going to make him call a timeout. We have a chance right here to take a lead. I love that they actually call three-second violations. It helps out so much. He's going to go under the screen. Let me get this midi, baby, and that's going to give us the lead. Another mid-range jumper for me. That's going to give me 14 points on the game. We have two assists, a little over a minute and a half left. Last game, we went into the second half with the lead, and in the first quarter, we had the lead, but we didn't have the lead this time. But if we can go into halftime with the lead, we would be in great position. You know he wants to pass. Actually, maybe he doesn't want to pass? Come on, baby. You got to stop him. Nice defense. Keep running the floor. Ah, I, oh, Williams. And one. Oh, Williams. All right, Williams. Redemption time, baby. Make them both at the line. He's got that Gatorade symbol. He's going to make one. He's one of three. Go, go, go two for two. Go two for four, 50%. He's one of four, 25% from the line. That's tough. He does extend our lead, though. So that helps us out. Let's see if we can get a stop to close out this quarter. He's going to get a blocking foul. I thought he stepped out of bounds. Just got to play hands up defense, man. You don't got to push him. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. 56 seconds left in the first half of basketball. You gotta stop him. He used a screen to get around me. He's still right here. He's gonna miss, but he's gonna get the rebound, and he's gonna put it back in. All right, one point game going into half, pretty much. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. I guess I shouldn't say that because there's still 40 seconds left. We're gonna pass it. Now you gotta put that in. You gotta go stronger than that. And now here comes Durbin, leading the break. They got more out here. Shot clock and game clock are separated by, looks like, 11 seconds. So it looks like we would get the ball back. I know he wants to pass it over here, but he didn't because I went over there. I think to start, we're going to have to put Michael Ray out here. He's going to make it. Okay. To start the second half, we're going to put Michael Ray out here. Or is he out here right now? Oh, he is. Oh, no, he's not. There's seven seconds. Let's see if we can take the lead. Give me that screen. Let me go to the line. Oh, what kind of what kind of lamp was that? We're going to go down. 
We're going to go down one into the second half. We're going to put Michael Ray Richardson at point guard to start the second half. The start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. The body on someone. The Spurs making a switch here. Banks is checking. This game is actually insane. We've been trailing by one point for the past three minutes. But once we get trailing by one point, they always score. So I'm hoping we can get a stop. How did he not run out of bounds with that? I'm hoping we can get a stop. I'm assuming... Oh, I thought he was going to pass it right there. I was ready for him to pass it. Just play hands up defense, please. Hands up defense and get the rebound, though. How are we not... A re you got to get the rebound. Get the rebound. All right, all right. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Don't step out of bounds. Ooh, I thought we were going to step out of bounds. One minute left in this game. I'm going to go at him, and I'm going to get fouled. That's huge. That's huge. I at least need to make one. We're going to make two, though. There's one right there. That's one. Tie game. And that's going to be two, baby. That's going to give us the lead. Ice in my veins. 54 seconds up one. They're going to use a timeout. Finally, we finally get over the hump, and we finally take the lead. The question is, can we hold on to it, though? I love how Hall of Fame makes the game so close. Like, I love that it's not, like, overpowered for the CPU, and I love that the game itself is just so close. You know, it's... Oh, I tried to read it, but I I, I reached... I, I, I stole it the wrong way. I was right there, too. We got to stay with them. Why is no one on him? Why was no one on him? Why was no one on him? We're going to run it with Carver. I'm going to start running. Okay. This guy is so annoying, bro. My guy's tired, too. Got to inbound the ball. Let me not. Oh, my God. I missed the jump shot. That's game. Yep, that's game because I missed the jump shot. How did I miss the midi? Oh, that's tough. How did I miss the midi? You got to foul him. How did I miss the mid-range? That's literally my game. How would I miss the mid-range? Oh, my God. He missed. He's going to make the second one. You already know. Yep. All right. Time out. Oh, baby. This is... They need a solid play to knock this one up. We're going to see how this goes. And if we need to call another timeout, we're going to inbound the ball. Come set the screen. And that's going to be a perfect release. And it's going to tie the game. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Mini magician grandpa. Oh, my God. That is huge. Now we have to play defense, though. Now we have to play amazing defense with 14 seconds. I was going to wait, but if I missed, then we had we had to take it. I didn't have a choice. I wanted to make sure we greened it, baby. 10 seconds. You know they're playing for the final shot. You know they're going to go to their best player. Oh, uh, you knew that was going to go in because it's Skirvin. I think I might just go for the two if we can get it. No, we're going to call him the timeout. I don't like this inbound. I don't like this inbound. I don't like how we're set up there. I don't like how we're set up. So we're set up the same way. That's fine. I just need to make sure... Okay. Wait, we didn't have another timeout? Didn't it just say we had a timeout? Miss. Oh, what a huge to the line that was. Gets him off and makes it a three-point lead. 
We just lost. It just said we had one timeout. Bro, it literally said we had one timeout in the box. What? Really? It said we had one timeout. And so he drops them both. It's a five point game. What bro, it literally said we had one timeout. Bro. And so it's the Spurs with the win. They pull out a tough one, Mike. They were able to maintain the lead and get the win. I only called the timeout because they inbounded it to Michael Ray Richardson because I was trying to set up. It literally said we had a timeout. Oh, that's really annoying. I literally swore it said we had a timeout. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video back. I swear it said we had one timeout when I called it. I swear, dude. That's tough. That's tough. Gervin uh, had 13. I thought this guy would have been the top scorer, but he wasn't. So that's interesting. I was uh, 3 of 12. From three point twenty seven points though. Three assists. Uh Williams had thirteen. Michael Ray had five. King and Cartwright both had two. Uh wow. Williams had sixteen rebound. Usually it's Cartwright. Cartwright had six. Williams had sixteen. That's kind of crazy. Uh Gilmore had sixteen for them too. Um, but wow. All right. Well, that's interesting. Well, I really thought we were gonna win that when it came down to the wire. Of course, as soon as of course <sighs> that's so annoying, dude. Uh, of course, Gervin would hit it, right? Of course, he would hit that, and then I didn't like the setup, and I only called the timeout because they inbounded it to Richardson, and I knew I wasn't going to have time to set up with him getting the inbound. Ah, uh, man. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, well. We probably won't win a championship in this era. I'm not going to lie, bro. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to win the championship, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go like, go subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. I have to get out of here, so I will see you guys in the next one. Always remember to follow those streams. Don't let anyone stop you. And until next time, Woody Bam, we play the Suns and then the good old Lakers. But until next time, go subscribe. Bye-bye.